What up, Hope Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten, back at it again. I share a lot with you guys during my videos. I feel like every video has just like some new and different like tidbit, some like new and different insight into who I am as a person. Um, you guys are slowly but surely learning way more about me than any strangers deserve to know. Um, but I don't mind because I love you guys. But that got me thinking about the fact that I share like these little tidbits with you and some of you guys do the same. Like Alistair just shared that they made the Dean's List and they got a hold of an internship, you know, and other people share their, you know, favorite games and stuff like that. And I just, I really enjoy learning so many different things about you guys. And I need more of you guys to do that, okay? I, I need more of you guys to share with me about what's going on in your life. Just like I give you guys little updates, I need you guys to give me little updates because I just really enjoy, I just really enjoy seeing them. I really enjoy reading them there. It's a highlight of my day, to be honest. I love when I see names that I recognize, like it's like we're a little family. And I just, I really enjoy it. So just so you know, in case you're a lurker or in case you're thinking like, oh man, there's no way that Skitten could possibly care about this. Like I do, I definitely do. Just little things about your day or little things about like what you're into. Like I'm definitely into those. Just don't share anything that like would be dangerous for other strangers on the internet to know, please. Okay, like just brief thing about internet safety. Be safe, be safe with it. And see who's ins. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe and sanitized. Today, we are here to watch another video from Ice Cream Sandwich. Now, Ice Cream Sandwich betrayed me on the pizza tier list and cereal tier list videos. Like I'm a little, I'm a little miffed, but he's still my buddy. He's still my homie. I still really like his videos. So the title of this video is Difficulty Eating New York Pizza. I don't, I don't know what could possibly be difficult about eating pizza because pizza is delicious, but I'm excited to see what this video has in store for us. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Think of the best place you can get an amazing slice of pizza. Evil Just pie. The best, juiciest, most delicious slice you can think of. It's definitely evil pie. It's on Fremont Street in Vegas and it's so freaking good. And it has been taste test approved by literally everyone that we've brought there who is from New York. So I, I, like, I feel like, I feel like I got it in the bag. I feel like I got it. Where on earth is that slice? That's right. Italy. New York. Italy. It's New it's York. Italy. Dude, that shut up. <laughs> Kelly and I set up a trip to go see friends in New York. Uh, this is Kelly. By Hello, the way. Kelly. I don't think I've introduced her to you yet. Who are you? Kelly, meet subscribers. Subscribers, meet Kelly. What's up? <laughs> We're gonna go see friends. It's very exciting. Yet there was one thing I had on my mind for this trip. Okay. Pizza. I see right, media yeah, all over duh. the place. Hey, New York slice this. New York slice that. I'm walking here. So I created this image in my. <laughs> <laughs> oh no but also that i'm walking here like that's one of mine and chavez's favorite things to say when we're imitating people from new york also we like to say new york in new york slice this new york slice that i'm walking here so i created this image in my head i'm like wow new york slice pizza must be like the best pizza ever and right. now i am landing in a place where that pizza is so the day comes around we're ready to fly but as luck would have it our flight is canceled no! due to weather. But good news is that there was another flight with a little detour to Chicago that could still get us there the same day. Okay, but Chicago also has amazing deep dish? Deep dish? Chavez and I had deep dish for the first time. How many years ago is it now? Like three years ago? And we still have not stopped talking about it. Lou Malnati's like changed our lives significantly significantly we get to the airport but bad news is that pesky little weather problem comes rearing its ugly head Boo. Once normally that's not a problem but our connecting flight would then take off before the first one lands and then we would just miss it i was right. feeling a little spicy so i said kelly if we go and lose the bet then we're just stuck in chicago and we grab a hotel get some room service and party like we're stuck in chicago with no responsibilities because that's literally what would be happening right or we go 
Somehow, the second flight also gets delayed, we go to New York, and we're back on track to get exactly what we wanted in the first place. Pizza. That's a win-win. Life is short, you know? You gotta be crazy sometimes. Make bad decisions. Right. So we did. So we're on the plane. It takes off. The flight went fine. There was no peanuts, though. How am I expected to survive and thrive no in these conditions? Ooh. We land, and our second flight is delayed. But it's on the other side of the airport. It's leaving in, like, 45 minutes, and we're on the back of the plane. So we have to run. And while we're running through the airport, we're, like, taking wrong directions. Oh, getting lost. No. Kelly's bag actually bursts open. Oh, oh God! And when we finally find our gate, we're actually 20 minutes early. And then some guy laughed at me. Turns out we didn't need to run at all. I was sweaty. Damn. Tired. Embarrassed. Damn. But, you know, I didn't care. Pizza's on the way. I feel great. And the trip isn't even over yet. The plane had even more complications, if you can believe it. But hold on. Um, I need to be somewhere. I'll be right back. This video is oh, sponsored God. by Keeps. All you right. ever wish that you could get your life together? Yeah. yeah, all the time. Anyway, on an unrelated note, Keeps is a subscription service that delivers hair loss treatment to your door. You might be thinking, and I say, yeah, good question. All Keeps treatment plans are doctor recommended and delivered straight to your door at about half the cost of a traditional pharmacy. Also, Keeps has an award-winning all-natural thickening shampoo and conditioner system that makes your hair strong and robust. Keeps has an I fully support Ice Cream Sandwich getting his bag, but I don't, I don't think I'm the target audience for this. There's a network of medical advisors, prescribers, and care specialists that you can contact and they can support you with whatever hair, Not hair on my you may fingers. have. Several people who have witnessed users of Keeps have survived. Here's what they have to say. They had great hair. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off on your first order, go to keeps.com slash ice cream sandwich or click the link in the description. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash ice cream sandwich. Keeps. Buy Keeps today and I'll let you keep your life. Oh. Oh. We get on this next plane, the connecting plane. We couldn't leave for an extra 40 minutes because of the bad weather that had happened before. And there was talk, there was discussion from the captain. He's like, hey, guys, if we fly out tonight, we might just land in D.C., which, you know, not what I paid for, what? but I guess okay. it's a preferable option, all things considering. Eventually, <laughs> things cleared up. He's like, okay, let's go. What? Then there was like a shift change in the pull crew, so nobody oh, was my present to move God. the plane to the tracks runway. So we were just stuck, like... Just this chilling on the plane. To New York was exhausting. Eventually, the plane flies in New York. The turbulence wasn't too bad. We do land alive. After we land, we try to take a taxi and almost get scammed because I was too tired to realize there was just some random guy trying to charge people several times higher than actual taxi rates to drive people into the city. But then we got oh, suspicious geez. and just went on a normal taxi. It's 3 a.m. We get to the apartment and we are beat, beat to the bone. But you know what? Pizza's on the horizon. So the following day, immediately, the first thing I see when I get outside, we see a lizard on a leash. What? There's people everywhere. And That's everybody's cool. hot. It's insane. <laughs> the most I can dress up is like a shirt. Maybe break out my nice jeans if we're really going There we out. go. But the people in New York, they're like two ends of this f fashionable spectrum. They're either fashionable gods that just walked off the runway. Right. Or they just like got run over which can also be considered fashionable. Generally, wherever you walk in New York, you're walking over trash, but then you turn to your right and it's the most pristine, pure store that you've ever seen. It right. was the most contrasting place I've ever been in my life. There was no middle ground for anything. But all in all, I'm really charmed by New York. And it took a couple days after we arrived, but we think after a day of touring, maybe let's get some drinks and then go eat that pizza. I was gonna say, but what about the pizza? You've been building me up this whole damn, this whole damn video about the pizza. Where's the pizza? Get that New York slice and I'm ready for it. We find our, this pizza place, almost literally a hole in the wall. And it's everything I imagined. There was this good amount of wear and tear, no door, yes, and no wider perfect. than two people laid side. Amazing. Look at the signage on this thing. Yes. I immediately fell in love. I got myself two slices and a Dr. Pepper and the wait is finally over. I finally please, get to please, take please, my please. bite. <laughs> Let me explain this flavor to you. The cheese tasted stale. There was a subtle hint of cardboard in every bite. What and do, do you I sense mean? a hint of came out of the oven 20 minutes ago? And by golly, is that 10 times my daily salt intake? No! Well, that sounds pretty cool. But I am dead serious when I say that was one of the best slices oh, I have okay, ever 
had. Think about it. Has food tasted better after you've been eating a lot of it or after a great amount of effort? And so True. like, I guess what okay. I'm trying to say, it's not really about the destination. <laughs> it's about, it really the about the journey. It's friends you make along the way. Oh, okay. Nah, I'm just kidding. I just really like salt. <laughs> oh God. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that he got his pizza. I'm so like, I just love a happy ending. Don't have me watch things that don't have a happy ending because they're really upsetting. They're very upset. Speaking of things, oh my God. Okay, this is like, has nothing to do with the video that I just watched, but I just watched the imitation game on Netflix. Chavez and I decided to watch it. I think Chavez just put it on like for no reason. That movie is sad and it ends sad. Like, like, like I just, it's very upsetting, but very happy that he got his pizza. Every time I think about New York, I think about pizza. I think about Puerto Rican food. And I think about going to like a really nice, cute cocktail bar. Like that's, that's what I'm excited to do whenever I get to New York and I'm coming. I'm, I'm slowly making plans to be there within the next four years or so. Travel is expensive. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave your reaction requests and recommendations down in the comments below. And other than that, peace out, Hope Biscuits. It's skin lit.